Hey, plus, 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 plus. What's up? It's kind of getting cold. Oh, um, let me turn on my PC. Wait, PC? Oh yeah, it gets really hot, so I use it as a heater. Okay, sure. Are right, you ready? All right, go. go, go. Two hours later. Yo, why is it so cold? How long does it take to get, get warmer? I can't feel my fingers. Uh, oh, I installed a new cooler. Yo yo, my name is Cal and welcome back to Projects Gaming. Today we're going to be looking at the Valkyrie GL360 AIO liquid cooler. But before we start, please subscribe, like, hit the bell notification. Let's go. It's a bit of an unknown brand internationally, but it's picking up a lot of traction uh, in the Asian market. Uh, this is a Chinese brand, which is why there's not much information about it. Even on their website, there's not much but that can be attributed to the buying habit over here because most of them are they're looking at marketplaces or social media for information. But enough about me yapping on about this, uh, let's get to unboxing. So right off the bat, uh, even though the website is lacking a bit, but the packaging here is, is amazing. 10 out of 10 in terms of effort. Uh, the way they did it is they have a two layer system. Bottom layer is where all the fans are located in a tray. And on top they have the AIO itself and then accessories. The fans themselves have RGB on them as well on the four corners and they have these shock pads on the four corners as well to reduce noise. The manufacturer says that the max decibels for these fans are 29. These are supposedly silent fans but we'll find out. So looking at these dimensions, it's 397 by 120 by 27 millimeters and 83 by 78.6 by 58 millimeters. The supported platforms for this cooler are Intel LGA115X, LGA17XX, LGA20XX, and AMD AM4 platform. The AIO is aluminum, quite light. The tubing uses a FEP polymer with braided sleeves for better protection. The thermal paste is pre-applied. Uh, ignore the fingerprint, I accidentally touched it. But that's pretty standard nowadays. The, the brackets are not. Uh, so for Intel and AMD, there's a bit of extra work. So this is one of their selling points. They employ a center cap similar to a floating Rolls-Royce uh, one where the logo is always right side up, no matter how you position it. They call it the gravity nameplate. Pretty cool. Also, it's got RGB ring around it. We're now going to look at the accessory boxes that are labeled 2 and 3. 2 has most of the hardware and 3 is the uh, ARGB hub. Uh, they threw in these uh, character cards uh, which ties in with the lord of the brand. Uh, there's this entire backstory, I won't get into it. You can have a look, up, look it up yourself. It continues on in the instruction manual. Uh, as you see, it kind of looks like a, a manga. So pretty cool design. Uh, yeah, uh, basically an extra bonus. Accessory wise, they give you an extra tube of thermal paste. It includes brackets for Intel and AMD. They also included a RGB hub, connect all your fans on an ARGB. All right, time to assemble the cooler. So you just put it there, slot it right there. And then you need one of these. Uh, there's actually a difference. So there's a fat side and a skinny side. You wanna make sure you're using the fat side. And there should be four of these. All right, so uh, we installed the fans. I left one out just to show you the difference. Uh, so right here, uh, there's two different types of screws. You want to be using this one. Uh, so that's the correct one uh, for here. In terms of like the build quality, it's, it's pretty good. The only issue I had, so there's an extra case fan I have. The only issue I had was this was a little bit sticking out, which created a bit of a tension uh, when installing this. But once you tighten it down, it's, it's still good.
So we're gonna figure out the software. We're gonna go to their website, which is valkyrie.com.cn. Pretty nice website. They got some uh, animations. So we scroll all the way down. What you see here is Valkyrie, a bunch of Chinese, and then version 1.22. We're gonna click on this. And as you can see down here, it's starting to download. So it's finished now. We're gonna install the software. Uh, next, next. So there we go, we just finished. The software is on our desktop. We're gonna double click it. It's got a pretty nice loading screen. So after downloading the software and having a look at it, we realize it's actually not that helpful. So there's some basic general information of CPU, GPU, and then this is giving you more information on the cores. And then this is settings, but there's no ability to change RGB to our knowledge. Um, so it's not that helpful. Again, if anybody knows if we're using this incorrectly, let us know. So I do recommend if you want to change the RGB, you should be using the, the motherboard software. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to be using the MSI Center. And this is how you can change the RGB with the Mystic Light settings. This is a noise check. The fans are quiet enough that the mic is actually picking up more of the office chatter. This is on idle. We are now running Heaven Benchmark. The CPU is at 100%. Temps and fan noise, still good though. The product comes with a five year warranty, which is really good considering the fact that most other AIO uh, brands only offer one or two years. Again, not sure if the five year warranty is available in every uh, market. So the key selling point here is the cost. So the cost of this is $950 Hong Kong, which is roughly about 122 USD. So absolute steal in my mind. So some final thoughts about this cooler here, right here. Uh, the build quality is very, very good. It's on par with some of the top brands such as Li and Li. The only issue that we have was on software. We don't know if it's uh, our problem or the software itself, but we weren't able to access the RGB uh, via the, the Valkyrie software itself. We ended up using MSI software uh, from the motherboard to control all the RGB. And lastly, the RGB itself, the way it was implemented on the, the, the fans, it's very segmented. I don't know, so for some people, that might not be the look that they want. They want a more continuous look. Again, it's up to the individual how they feel about that. The AIO technology isn't rocket science, so getting lesser known brands isn't as big a risk, for example, like getting an off-brand RAM. They did a really good job, and I would definitely recommend it considering the fact uh, the build quality, the design, performance, and price. Uh, that's about it. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. But before you go, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification. See you guys in the next one. Is this doing anything?